Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Alaska Spice today. My name is Harry, and I'm in Nigeria, living in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And uh, I've been rightly informed that our current vice president is presently in a city of Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, on a bilateral uh, uh, business between Nigeria and Vietnam. And on this note, I would like to draw the attention of our able and lovable hard-working Vice President, Professor Yemi Osebajo, on the issue concerning Nigerians that are living in this part of the world. As I speak now, I'm in the capital city of Nopen, Cambodia, and uh, Cambodia is sharing border with Vietnam, and which is just like uh, uh, a comparison between Togo and Nigeria. But it is currently difficult for Nigerians to get even a tourist visa to travel from Cambodia to Vietnam, and this has been years. And for you to secure a tourist visa, you need to get an IV, that is invitation letter from someone who can stand as a guarantor. I don't know what led to this situation. I have been rightly informed as well that this was not used to be the case. But what made the government or the, the, the authorities over there in Vietnam to subject the, the movement of uh, Nigerians from here to Vietnam to become very, very difficult? I don't know what, I don't know how, but I would like to bring your notice, sir, that uh, if while you are there, you can raise this issue to the respective authority to make sure that the migration issue between Nigerians that are in this part of the world is easy to go to Vietnam and come because I don't understand of what use is having a bilateral agreement with a country where his citizens are not allowed to secure even a tourist visa to that place. There are legitimate Nigerians that are living in Vietnam. I, I, I am a writer and as well as a blogger and there are people contacting me who want to travel to Cambodia and there are Nigerians here like myself who want my who's along the line want to take some trip, family trip to Vietnam or the nearby place. But when it's so difficult for one to contact, uh, 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 to get the Victoria visa to visit uh, Vietnam, it becomes a very worrisome situation. So, sir, Your Excellency, I would like to plead with you if this issue can be uh, raised and presented to the right people and the right attention be given to it. Because it they affect us, we were there here. It affect us really, and also it, it, it's a shame. It's a shame for to us that we cannot migrate. No matter what has happened, no matter whoever did anything that has uh, contributed or that has put us into this situation, I am sure that uh, there is a way that with this kind of bilateral relationship that has been established for the past few years between both countries, I am sure that there, there should be a way of. Uh, of, of deliberating and uh, trying to make sure that issue of visa issuing for Nigerian passport holders in this part of the world can be lessened so that we can be able to explore opportunity of being around here. Thank you very much sir, for listening. I know that you are a leader that listens to your people. Please make sure that the plight of Nigerians in Asia in general, not just in Cambodia, in Asia in general has been taken highly, highly relevant by the government because a lot is happening to Nigerians in this part of the world. Many Nigerians are going through a lot of things but there is no help coming from anywhere and I think that uh, now that you are in this part, <coughs> excuse me, I hope you can take a little opportunity. I, I